Hey there, you legends. My name is Fedor. I'm a Dutch touring stand-up comedian. I perform all over the world and everywhere I go, I always try to find what's funny, what can I joke about on stage. And in this case, it's going to be a bit difficult because right now I'm in Turkey. <laughs> And Turkey, as you might know, is not particularly known for its freedom of speech the last couple of years. I actually got warned by two sev separate journalists to be very careful with what I say. And I noticed I'm already lowering my voice. <laughs> and I actually got a message from somebody from a embassy uh, with a list of subjects to avoid talking about. So yeah, Turkey, fun. <laughs> So what can I actually joke about here in Turkey? I've been traveling around and it, the country is very impressive. Nature is gorgeous. You've got these caravan sarais, which are basically the hotels from the Silk Route times. Pretty little villages, insane old monasteries. And Cappadocia, despite being very touristy, is actually a lot of fun. The balloons are gorgeous and going horseback riding in between the fairy tale chimneys was really awesome. Two things that really stood out were the speed limit of 82 kilometers an hour. I mean, what the hell is that for a number? And the second thing that really stood out is that these speed limits are apparently checked by these cardboard police officers, which are about as real as the freedom of speech is in this country. Unfortunately, I'll be doing my show in Antalya in front of people that stay in Antalya all the time, expats, digital nomads, so they won't get these traffic references. They will probably recognize, however, that traffic in Turkey can be absolutely insane. There seems to be no regard for traffic rules or human life. We even saw a car get into a fender bender at the auto repair shop. I also spent some time in the capital Ankara, which was nicer than I expected. I expected it to be way more boring and gray, but it's actually quite nice. It has some nice old parts, hip bars, and, every, and it's really happening. There's also the Atatürk mausoleum, and Atatürk is definitely something I'm not gonna joke about, because for the Turkish, Atatürk is holier than holy. He's the founder of modern day Turkey. And I also, in all honesty, don't feel any urge to joke about him because what he did was he united a country by overcoming differences, which is the opposite of current leadership that is ruling by divide and conquer. But now I am in Antalya where I will actually do the show. And Antalya is also nicer than I expected because I know Antalya from all inclusive holidays, which doesn't attract the nicest kind of tourism in my opinion. But what I never realized is that Antalya itself is quite a nice big city with a lot of local life as well as internationals and not just the all-inclusive tourist type. Now what really stood out to me is the amount of Russians that are here. It has always been a popular tourist destination for Russians but right now there are a lot of extra Russians here that are fleeing Russia to avoid mobilization. Which is fine of course and I absolutely understand that they are fleeing the country and avoiding mobilization. What I do miss however in Antalya is any sign of support to the Ukrainian. The past summer I toured all over Europe and the Caucasus and in every country I visited. I saw Ukrainian flag support for the Ukrainians. And in Turkey, so far, I have seen nothing, visually at least. No flag, no sign of support whatsoever. And anyway, if you haven't seen it yet, I recently visited Ukraine and there's a whole vlog about it. Uh, so check that out after this one, of course. Now, one thing I absolutely love talking about on stage is cats and dogs, animals in general. And I have to say here in Turkey, they are amazing for their animals, especially in Antalya, that all the cats look healthy in the streets, dogs as well. Dogs even look fat they're overfeeding the dogs which is amazing to see and apparently the municipality takes great care of them if you see a sick dog or cat you can call them they will send somebody to take care of the animal it's amazing honestly the healthcare system for animals here is way better than the healthcare system in the u.s in general <laughs> then another good subject for comedy is always like the food and the drinks and turkish food is absolutely delicious but one thing that i really noticed is that they pretty much only have turkish food there are not a lot of alternative options when you're here it's basically 50 shades of kebab then another thing I might be able to joke about is of course the tea culture. Whatever you do, wherever you go, even at the garage they kept offering me tea. At a restaurant, at restaurants they keep giving you tea, usually for free. It's like tea is a right in this country. That every Turkish person always, at every time of day, has the right to tea. And the coffee is really a thing. If you ever had Turkish coffee, you already know what I'm gonna say. But Turkish coffee is basically unfinished coffee. They put the coffee grounds in water and just let it sink to the bottom. And you always take one sip too many. You always think like, I can take one more sip before I reach the disgusting coffee grounds. Let's see if I can turn any of this into jokes on stage. I'm doing my show here at a co-working space, co-working Antalya, which is absolutely gorgeously located. It's an amazing spot and it has a really fun community, which I'm sure will also make a good audience for the show. Some of them are also joining me on stage, but let's see, let's go some fun on stage. Comedy show got awkward ever. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I've been here for 
been to, to Turkey quite a few times, also I spent most of the summer in, in Turkey, but all in the north. This is my first, first time I make it to the south. I'm also fascinated by the, the, the dialect differences. Like in Ankara, it's like way different the Turkish they speak. Like they swallow their case, it's like Ungara. Uh, and here the local dialect is Russian. Uh, <laughs> People are giving a critique like Turkey is not a free country, but I definitely honestly disagree. I don't know any other country where you have like this much freedom and liberty to just get on an electrical scooter and run into people. <laughs> 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 <It's amazing. laughs> and not just that traffic in general, because this summer I drove to like from Istanbul to Ankara to all the way to the Georgian border. And it's like every rule is an option. It's amazing. <laughs> It's like, a, that is true freedom, like, using your indicators is fascism. I mean, <laughs> for the Turkish people, indicators are the orange blinky lights you might see in movies somewhere. You don't see them here. That was an extremely fun show to do. And not just because I had fun on stage and the audience was lovely, etc. But also, 10 people from the audience tried comedy for the very first time. I gave them a little workshop a few days before just to help them on the way. Uh, but they did amazing. All of them did good. Some of them were actually really impressive. So that was a lot of fun. I didn't put too much of the comedy in this video uh, because I had way more stuff on Turkey. Uh, but the video quality, as you could see, is not that good. Audio quality is even worse. So it's just hard to watch. Uh, also, to be honest, a few jokes in there that might get me in trouble with some Turkish people. <laughs> so I just thought I'd leave them out online one. Basically you had to be there, that's what I'm saying. You had to be there, so you know, try to go to a show, that's my advice. Um, it took me a while to edit this one and unfortunately in the meantime Turkey has been hit by a major earthquake and when I say major I do mean major. I'm sure you've seen this, all seen it in the news because it's uh, the death toll which is still going up at the moment that I'm recording this is absolutely crazy. Um, it seems like I mean first of all the, the earthquake was just insanely intense and the aftershock was also crazy. But it seems like uh, faulty construction has a lot of poor construction has a lot to do uh, with the large amount of casualties. Um, just want to say, if you have the chance to support the people in Turkey financially, by there are a lot of organizations right now that you can support. Uh, please do, because the victims here, the casualties, and the people left behind, the families, the people that are now homeless, they're not the ones to blame for the faulty construction. They're just the ones suffering. Uh, so they can really use your help. And also keep in mind, Turkey is a lot bigger than just that area. So if you're still considering going to Turkey on a trip to Antalya, Ankara, Istanbul, Cappadocia, please do. I highly recommend it. I absolutely love that people were lovely, uh, had a great time. Uh, and you know, you're supporting the, their economy, which they can also use right now. Uh, so yeah, that would really, you know, support Turkey. Uh, you can also support me by, you know, hitting that like button because for every like a hamster gets its wings. And subscribe of course, if you haven't subscribed yet. Um, you can also buy me a coffee uh, because most of these videos actually edit in a coffee shop. Uh, so yeah, I do actually need to buy a coffee every now and then. So that would actually help. Um, next up is gonna be Thailand and then after that Australia, where I'm actually already at. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Catch you next time.